pretty traditional extended pillar prep, movement prep here at Exos, and we'll go from total body mobility com uh, combined with stability all the way up into some basic movement patterns to have you just moving in the hotel room, making your body feel better, doing some of these exercises, all of these exercises, or doing this and taking you right into a game. First thing is gonna be spine first. We're just gonna arch and round, initiating through our pelvis. So starting, arching, and then tucking your tailbone. We're gonna do everything five to 10 times. If you feel like you're just maintaining, you're gonna do it five times. If you feel like you are trying to get a good workout in, just go ahead and do everything 10 times. Maybe do more on one side if that side's a little bit tighter. Walk that hand to the opposite side, stack that palm on top and sit your butt back. Breathe it in, breathe it out as you sit your butt back. Cat cow, spine work into lat work and now we're gonna work on the thoracic spine. You're gonna thread the needle, reaching underneath, hand comes to the back of the head. Imagine your upper spine is a towel and you're trying to wring out that towel as you spin through your spine. So don't move the rest of your body. You just imagine you've got a rot your rotisserie chicken, rods going straight through your head, you're just spinning on that spine. From there, we're gonna go into our hips. So you're gonna go into this figure four hip stretch. Shouldn't feel anything in the knee, it should be all glued. Thread that needle, nice easy rotation. And you're going to fire up, squeeze that back glute, reach both palms up, twist, looking behind, leg comes out wide, a little bit more of a wide stride groin stretch. We're going to repeat that, same thing, anywhere from about three to ten times, spin, spin, create some whip in that hip, reach in both palms up, twisting, looking back behind us, and then stride stretch. We'll hit both legs here, figure four hip stretch into our front of the hip, so we're working the back of the hip, working the front of the hip, spine mobility, hip mobility, a little bit of shoulder mobility, and now we will go into some activation. So you're going to press your opposite hand into that knee, we're going to extend, trying to keep nice, long, tall posture. If you struggle to keep neutral spine, you can crunch and crush your low back into the ground to get a little bit more ab activation. The goal is to have a nice long spine just like our sprint mechanics and we're going to do a little bit more here upwards of 10 to 15 reps firing up those abs. From there we're going to continue to initiate from that low back and you're going to round one vertebrae at a time. Imagine like there's velcro on your spine slowly peeling from the waistband up, and the last thing that touches is the waistband. Five to 10 reps. We're going double leg and single leg. Make sure you really hold that top position, really trying to hit hip extension at the top. Same thing, five to 10 reps. Double leg glute bridge, single leg glute bridge. From there, we're gonna go into a modified half Turkish getup. Whatever arm is up, the same leg is up. So if my left arm is long, my left leg is long. If my right arm is up, my right leg is up. I'm going to drive that heel just like in my glute bridge. Reach up. Same thing. Both sides. From there, the long leg is going to go under. I can go into this bear position or quadruped crawling position. Back to my other side. Hitting six, half, Turkey. That opposite arm and leg, slowly rotating, balance a glass of water on my low back. So you can start to play around, increasing some difficulty, getting some more shoulder and torso stability in there. From there, you're going to really push down, spine, drive your heel up without arching into your low back, and slowly open up that hip. You'll reverse direction, drive that knee up without tucking your tail. Come out wide, no clicking, no popping. This is gonna be the most important position. So you're trying to hold a glass of water on your heel. You'll come back 
up to that position. Quad head hip circles. The slower you go, the more we start to increase control and slowly start to increase mobility in that hip joint. So really make sure this is nice and smooth. Wherever it's hard or difficult, just jump past that area. That's where you need to really stabilize and move that hip in those specific range of motion. From there, you're gonna touch your elbow to knee. You're gonna hold for one, two. You're gonna reach long, like you're in a doorway and you're trying to separate it with your heel and your fingertips. Make sure you're not arched up. Touch and extend. We'll go five to 10 reps here as well. Nice and easy. From there, if we're gonna continue to focus on that core, you might just hold this position right here. Otherwise, nice strong hips, hold, make sure everything